Once you get that tutorial, you can go to the skinny one, and the only ones who still worry about fashion despite the town's traders are real celebrities. I don't think that's how it works, but whatever. I have to say praises that won't discredit this place as a high-class boutique. So we'll put you with the do. So you can buy gear. You got things for defense and badges for extra power and such. So yep. And also take it over the description, sometimes you may see special effects. Yep. So for right now, there's nothing too special about it, so just take this. Yep. You don't have anything with special effects, so just take these as are. Well. Then we'll let you know which ones you've equipped. And yep. Oh, Luigi gets better pants. What? That's bullshit. Why do you get better gear than me? Hey, you got a free. Hey, you got a free badge. I don't know what you're complaining about. But still, it's like you get special treatment. Oh, now you complained. <laughs> but but nothing. You tell me bits of major crazy like this. You're so wonderful. So what do you want to do? Sell. And you can always sell off your old gear. And if you feel like you have too many items because you only hold up to ninety nine, so. you can always sell them for some extra cash. Yep. So sell this. Orcus, white company. He's going. Thick, durable, practical jeans. Gone. Yeah, your basic pants aren't really much to speak about. You yeah, excited something? You should really try buying something. Shopping rules. That's how we make money, after all. No, I do. We're good. Oof! I will charge you to look. Not that there's much to see. Unless you want to come back here. I'll get to my temporary item shop. Sorry about the mess. The time this stayed, I'm always staying out open as long as customers keep coming. So, what do you want to do? So, syrups and mushrooms. Which we have plenty. And also refreshing herbs, which are there to cure status ailments. Which... You know, as long as you know what you're doing, you shouldn't get afflicted that much. So. Yeah, but honestly, they aren't that useful, I'd say. Because mm -hmm. the thing about stasis is they're only as... They only last as long as the, um... As the battle carries on. Yeah, they don't so stick with you, which is... Over. They don't stick with you, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, everything here is still closed until we get to the next area. Alright, so let's go to Chuckle Fuck... I mean, Chuckle Fuck. God damn it. Come on, Chuckle Fuck. I should probably... I should probably create a petition so I can change it. Let them, say, let them say fuck. In a Mario game, no less. It'd be beautiful. I don't think that's how it works, Mario. Shows what you know. Your life isn't complete. Your life isn't complete until someone says Ow. fuck. Oh, fuck. Well, there we go. Got my, got my quota. I'm done. Oh, and by the way, this is bullshit. I should mention a little thing here. Yeah. These flying bean enemies... For some reason, they can fly, they're a lot stronger. But there's one thing that is really annoying about them. It's really funny. In the Japanese European version of this game, when you de-wing them, you get experience for their wing form and their de-wing form. Together? In the, yep. In the US version, if you de-wing them, you don't get experience for their wing form. In the US version? Yep. Wow. Uh-huh. That's some shit. Yeah, the US version of some of these games kind of gets gypped a little bit. Like, I know the sequel, apparently the... Apparently get more experience and partners in time in every version that's not the American version. It's also funny to know the American version came out first, for partners in time. Huh. It came out like a month before the other ones. Sometimes you'd be really surprised at how fast some games get localized. And Mario Luigi series was always one that came out in the U.S. pretty quickly. Localization, as the years went on, got better at the very least. Many Mario so. games were usually pretty good about that. I can't, think of, I can't really think of Mario games took a long time to get localized, as far as I remember. I can probably look into it and find out. Travel here is printed only for select individuals in order to guide the Chuckle Huck Woods ecology. What about this? Oh, the Bean Bean Brooch. I'm not a special guest of Bean Bean Castle. Very well then. We shall permit you to enter these woods. Woohoo! We'll be able to enjoy a taste of the incredibly full flavored Chocola Cola while you are here. Please buy our stuff. Buy our merch. Try the veal. Do they even have veal here? It's bean veal. Oh, god damn it. I don't even know that. That doesn't even sound good. But yep, you do get more experience for killing these guys while they are winged. It's really weird, but... Well... Once you jump on them, if they're not attacking... Yep. You de wing them. It's really weird that they do that. This is the only game that has that problem. Maybe it was an oversight? Yep, because the enemy technically goes to a different state once they, you know, get de-winged. So... Yeah. Actually, I think it's only this enemy it happens to. 
Their other enemies have wings later, it's fine with. You gotta go fast! I gotta go faster, 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 faster! Oh god. Oh god, right. you haven't watched that series. It didn't start coming out, did it? It's pretty good, bro. It's pretty embarrassing with a blue fuck. <laughs> oh, really? It's great! Laughing at the. Uh. His expense to think that he's had anything good going for him. Well, I hope it's at least worse than the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. You think that was bad? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I always thought Adventure Super Mario Bros. 3 was better. They're basically the same thing! Hey, it's better than that. Hey, at least I got someone who can actually do a little bit more emotion than Chris Pratt than most of you, you in the Illumination movie. I'll give you that one. You know, they actually like the voice actor for more of the, that cartoon, I think. <laughs> Imagine they had him in the movie. Well, then it was aggressively like a Brooklyn accent. I think. But if people did like it, which, eh, I'll give them that. I know some people kind of like that approach for Mario and Luigi. I guess I feel like I grew up a little bit after that because I honestly don't remember growing up with much of the, um, Video game adaptation stuff. The only thing that I can remember off the top of my head was the original Mortal Kombat movie. Yep. And that's about it. And this Free Fire yep. movie, but that was more years later. Okay, so. Anyway, thanks for the brew. Chocola Cola. Step Brew's one. The main ingredient of Chocola Cola is Chocola the Fruit, which is grows only in Chocola Fuck Woods. I mean, Chocola Fuck. God damn it. Damn it, you had it written in here. I can read a modified. <laughs> Brewing Chocola Cola, step two. Place one chocolate fruit in a barrel that's been filled to the brim with savory syrup. Why does it feel like it's chocolate, almost? Brewing chocola cola. Step three. Tell funny jokes to the fruit until the blast, releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. That explains a lot of things. I have too many questions. <laughs> they have a sense of humor? Brewing chocola cola. Step four. Bear in mind, I think that the quality of... Both the fruit and the jokes will affect the brewing process. Well, telling racist jokes make the actual Chocola Cola racist. That's the real question. What is high class comedy you speak of? <laughs> if I do a fart joke, will it laugh? The failed ones are what we call Chocola Cola Zero. <laughs> that explains way too many things. <laughs> and it's the most popular brand. What the? It's also the cheapest. Takes less effort to make, takes the least effort to make. Father <laughs> of Chocola Cola, first generation chateau owner, Bubbles. I would love that. There's something you could make where the quality of the jokes actually affected the quality of the product. That would be wild. Oh yeah, we have the barrel maze. Why am I getting more RPG flashbacks? God damn it. I can't see anything. Don't you worry about it. It's not your problem. But yep, just now get your way through here. As long as you're doing it right, you should be able to get to the end, no problem. One of these days, bro! I'm sick and tired of you doing this to me, bro! I can't even see anything! My eyes need you behind this barrel! Oh, yeah! I love this! God damn you! You can see the walls a little bit if you look carefully enough. Yeah. So it's not too hard to navigate, just, you know, keep looking around. Yeah, I think you found the right way. Pretty much just get to the outside there and just follow it, and you should be able to get out, no problem. We're almost there. Wait, what the fuck? What the? What the fuck are you? What? Ah! That son of a bitch! No, why are you leaving me in there? Where are you? Why'd you leave me in there, bro? I didn't think you'd take so fucking long, dude. You see that stupid beanie asshole who just walked in behind me? Oh yeah. I was actually gonna let him follow you for a little bit longer and see what how long it took for you to react. Ugh, I would have just left you behind. And you're not that helpful to me. Bow, boom, blast, carmony. The famous shadow beef popple has been caught in full sight. That's right. Get back here, you ah! dick. Cripes. Oh, you think you're ready for me, do you? Well, nobody's more ready than me, see? I'll show you. That's what you think, huh? Ricky, Ricky, shake a leg. Yes, boss. Oh, my God. Damn, he's beefy. Okay, Ricky, it's your turn. See? It's your turn, see? I want you to squash those red and green drips there! Yes, boss! Oh, you guys look stupid. Red and green. I feel like I know these two are somewhere. Weird. Why don't get jump on your head and drunk your memory? That's not necessary. What? Rookie, are you saying you're acquainted with these two palookas? I hope not. They look really dumb and outdated. Yeah. 
Some of them feels real familiar. Makes you feel real mad. Well? Quit your babbling, you! Okay, fine. You two ugly monks came here for the same reason as us. You won at the fabled Chocola Reserve. Yeah, let us have it. Boom! Boom, I say! You think you can beat me to the punch? Well, open up those ears, punks. I, Popple, shout out the filcher of the world's riches, bet you that I get to the Chocola Reserve first. Ricky, go to it! Let's kill him! Goddamn rookie, why do you look so familiar? Oh yeah, watch out for Paul, by the way, he yeah. can steal your items. I'll be taking that See, yeah. I remember made a joke in Paper Mario about enemy to steal your items. I forgot. This game has that, in Popple. Which, by the yeah. way, tackle, attack him. How dare you guys try to mess with a great Popple! So yeah, we have this giant spiky Koopa, who is... He looks awfully familiar to someone we know. Huh. But the name Junior jog your memory. I don't think so. But yep, you attack, if you attack Popple, Rookie will try to attack in his stead. However, I will say this. If you want more experience, you want to take out Popple first. Yeah. Because, well, I'll just say this. If you beat up Rookie... Popple eventually runs away. Yep. Because he's a cowardly dick. But yep, basically you want more experience, it's, you know, risk and reward. It's just, you know, if you can deal with the attacks. Yep, basically that attack, when he does that. I basically, see. the face he makes before he charges lets you know who he's attacking. If he keeps his anger face on, he's going after Mario. If he changes his look to be a little crazier, he's going after Luigi. God damn, I just can't seem to get that right. You'll never get anything right. You're an embarrassment. God damn it! Yeah, Rookie will attack both of you if you hit Popple. Just a nice reminder. Damn, dude, you suck at this. <laughs> yeah, Luigi's just getting screwed over here. Stop doing that! Oh, big open target! Yeah, his, his hammer does take a little while longer to pop yeah, up and see Yeah, that's it. actually kind of throwing me off a little bit. You gotta pull out a little sooner with Luigi. Yeah. Well, let's jump a bit. Dodge a little bit. Man, I didn't fully heal. This sucks, Luigi. Ow! <laughs> hey! What was that about? I thought you were an idiot. Ow! That's you think, loser. And now you took care of Popple. There you go, you finally got it. It also comes out a little sooner than you think it will. I think Rookie attacks a little more aggressively if it's just him without Popple. So, yep, just fight him off. Dude, can you just say who it is already? I can't tell the mask on, dude! That mask is per that mask is making me question things, man. He looks awfully familiar. Yep. For some reason, fighting these guys makes my gut flare up something fierce. Oh, right, once he takes enough damage, he does this. What the? Whoa! That was spicy! If Popple's still around, based on com commented like, Wow, you can do that? Good! Flavies Palookas, or whatever, something like that. Flavies fucks! <laughs> yep. Flavies chocolate fucks! But yep, get good experience, you managed to Wild mushrooms and green peppers. Green peppers aren't that useful, if you ask yeah. me. I think all they do is, uh, I think they give you enhanced defense. If you use them, they enhance defense and they make you lighter. Mm -hmm. Which can be useful because it can make dodging a little bit easier. Yeah. Because of the hang time. I don't, they remind me of something with the beads. There might be another item you might appreciate in case you don't like the hammer action command or dodging. Ooh, so close. Three, three's good though. Thanks, cop, but I'll take it. Yeah. <sighs> Rookie, you bloated idiot! Who took you in when you were dazed and lost on the mountain? Me, you worthless vermin! I'm so ashamed! Meh, I don't care, see? As long as we're here, we're gonna head to the Chocola Reserve. Let's not mess with these two knuckleheads. We'll scram and hurry on ahead. Yeah! You died first! What a loser. What about a chuckle fox? Yeah. I do feel bad for Rookie, though. I almost feel bad for him. What do you mean, bro? Almost. Oh, okay. What did he say? Hmm, I wonder. Is there a visible block in here by any chance? I say, follow the pattern, just take a guess. I want to say maybe. 
The room just... Maybe not. Finding the invisible blocks is a bitch and a half. Yeah, I know some locations where they are, but not a lot of them, unfortunately. I wanted to say maybe there's one here, and maybe not. There could be something I could probably try to look I up. I feel like there's one. I feel like we can look up those ones, because let's be real here. Those are too, pain to find. They're too out of the way, and I don't know if we're going to find anything that's really going to... Oh god, I stole the picture off of my phone of the frickin' <laughs> 1982 charity shirt. Oh god. <laughs> the golf shirt, swing for the retarded. Like, uh, I get what they were doing, but, you know, looking back at that now, that phrasing is really bad. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Well, you can look back and laugh, at least. We know better wording now. Remember, that was from 1982. That was over 40 years ago. The human tongue is a mistake. You should cut it all out. The Wait, English what? language is a mistake. Language in general is a mistake, apparently. You oh. just speak in signs and numbers. And figures. Wait, what? Oh god! Whoa! Have I been saved? Rescue? Moi? That's a loss! A lot! I am the maitre of the chateau! Cork! That is me! And moi! I am the petit brother of Cork! My name is Cask! We were stuffed in these palace by two bizarre creatures! The characters! Are you the ones who, sa who saved us? I kinda was trying to just break the barrel open, but alright! Oh! 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 oh, oh. To get straight to the point, the two who attacked us are after the Chocon Reserve that lies deep in these woods. If who? You two are after the Chocon Reserve as well? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. Ah, we. Oui. Mm. The problem is whether or not that legendary Sola even truly exists. Why? Even the two of us have never seen or drunk that famed drink, the Chocon Reserve. Behind Chuckle Fuck, I mean Chuckle Fuck Woods. It's a sanctuary no one uh, can touch us. Getting there is not easy. They really need to change that name. Eh, what? Quoi? I can jump, dude. Oh, that's it, right. We'll get stuck. Stop. Oh. stop us all in our knees. And I'm going to little bits and make path. Ah, we? I lost those rocks are very black, apparently. Oh, perhaps we could get through the woods. But now with these moves alone. Wait, what? We'll teach you something. Cask! Perhaps with that wonderful amber. Hmm. We. Oui. Crispian! Mon frere! Indeed! Little old moi was thinking the exact same thing. Ahem! Pardon moi! Come to the back room. That's great! I hate the French. <laughs> you couldn't leave here now, but it won't be that useful for you right now. But, one of the actual chocolate hot ones. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Where are all those two? <laughs> Ooh, money! They'll be there eventually, bro. They'll be here eventually. They have to. Ten days later. <laughs> What's taking <laughs> so long? I can't get through this fence! Good, good. <laughs> this fence is really hard to get over. If only we can go under it somehow. That's a stupid idea, bro, and you should feel bad for thinking it. Let's keep looking for a way! Alright, fine. <laughs> Parby wants to do that, but... Nah. They'd be wasting too much time. Yeah. But yep, you see those fences that are around, and we could possibly go under them? We're gonna learn that ability now, and well... You're gonna need to learn this ability. You're gonna learn probably the two most useful abilities you're gonna get in the game, so, honestly. Yeah. So let's just uh, get this out of the way. God damn it! Oh yeah, it'll be the last time I'm able to do these, too. I'm gonna kill you one of these days. We'll see about that. Sure. Oh, they're having a tete a tete with Mon Frere just a moment ago. We have decided. To thank Wu for helping us, we have decided to teach you two ammo techniques. So? These are techniques that have been perfected and refined and passed down on the air at the, at the chateau. If you master these, this should help you in your bone voyage in the woods. Do you wish to try to master these other techniques? I don't know if we need them, honestly. Bro, let's just do it. First, Monster Green, give me your armor. This thing looks like shit. <laughs> oui, I see, with this hammer, first press the L button to choose your armor. Now we have a proper use for these. 
So, we can't do that taunt anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Then press the B button to swing. We'll be able to do it again later. Ow! Et voila! That is the secret hammer technique. Swings the hammer high and watch it plunge down with the... With, with the, the vivier of the, of the woods. Jeez, just speak English! Anyone it will... With such a technique will become micro-sized. We oui. Just... Just... Just petite. Anyone this size can fit into a ha like a mouse. You could go into tiny holes for micro adventures. Sweet. The attack to Neville just swings the hammer again with a superb whack of them out. Ow! Are micro adventures like micro games? Alice, go try it. Be gentle, please. Ow! Yeah. Oh, incredible! Incredible! Don't think you could for Lucy. It's sure. Oh, David, really? He was the woods on the first shot. On the first shot. Eh, yeah, Louis, perhaps you should try to put it back to normal. I said gentle. Uh, I don't know. I kind of prefer him being on the small end of the spectrum right Good, now. Good, just try to jump on me. I dare you, motherfucker. Okay. I can't move. Fuck! I can't move. <laughs> Retribution. We're going to be here for a while, aren't we? You have uh, no idea how long I wanted to do this. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> I just stale, silent, frozen with rage. <laughs> rage! Ow! <laughs> Finally! Excellent! Man, I've magnifique. Who could be a genius? Caught me! Oh, now then, Majoren, give me your ammo this time! Huh, not even a super hammer? What a piece of shit. This time, press start to switch positions. Then, press the M, L button, to select your ammo. And now the one that's more useful, this yeah. technique. Then, press the B button to swing. Jesus! This, this is the ultimate ammo technique. Trade it, huh? He isn't wrong. Crashing down a gust of wind with the power of the earth! Whoever is struck by this hammer will be completely buried and in in the earth! Of course, in this state, moving with the control pad is possible! One feels much like a bowl! Why? Who can even sneak under fences for micro adventures? And spy on people! To come back above ground, just press the A button! Alex, go! Try it! Now it's might! <laughs> I fucking hate you! <laughs> <laughs> no! Not again! Ow! Oh, fun! The power of the earth crashes out in a burst of wind! That was perfect! Ah, we oui. Just press the A button to pop out of the ground again! I'm gonna keep you in there, bro! Hey! No! Hey! I'm trying to leave! No! You're starting to be in there! You can't keep powering him, too! Fantastic! <laughs> now, it is time to put these new armor techniques to the test! Use the techniques you learn to get the two cola goblets in the next room. The two goblets of which I speak are two of the Bean Bean Kingdom's greatest treasures. The sparkling glass of Milan is the it is the perfect reward for who, who have gained these techniques. So Matsuras, procure the two two goblets. Finally! Now I can bury you six feet under! I don't even think I'm six feet tall. This is really annoying. I'm gonna crush you! <laughs> I hate this right now. That's not as bad as I thought. By the way, secret technique now. You try to do that and then have Mario jump. Ow! Oh! My nuts! Just be careful to do that too much. It hurts Luigi. You basically sacrifice one HP of Luigi's for a coin. <laughs> you really had to resort to the dick punching. Are you kidding me, bro? Hey, get us free cash! I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. You would. It's a technique I always use when we're short on funds. I don't even know if I'll be able to have children anymore. Nobody would have to have children with you anyway. Bro. Fuck you. <laughs> but yep, these hammer techniques will be very useful. Yep. So, just pay attention to contact. Also, notice these circles on the ground. You'll get a tutorial on this later, it's good to know now. Chuckle beans. Basically, dig under these to find chuckle beans. And steel flooring. Steel flooring is so hard you cannot go through it. So yep, you can't use Mario's technique on steel floors. Mouse floor, take care not to bump your head on the low entryway. 
Have a whole living room. Tone beneath fences. Try to get your clothes dirty. Good luck with that! God damn it. Oh, right, that's over the fence. I was gonna say, how's he gonna get out? I forgot they do that, because they can't trap you in there. That'd be awful. That'd be terrible game design if they did Oh, that. right, you need the high jump anyway. Besides, yeah. I had anything on the wall. I should probably hit the wall. A little late for that. Oh, he meant the switch. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we got the green carpet! It's brilliant glitters in your eyes. That should be mine, honestly. Just if you know. But yep, Mario cannot drill Luigi into steel floors. So there you go. Got the red goblet! Beauty smart with your eyes! Hey, let me have one! That's not fair! You don't need either of these, bro. You don't deserve it either. You freaking bitch! Come on, get me up there! Oh, you got the red goblet! And the green goblet! What's yours? You are amazing! Incredibly! There's nothing more for us to teach you! We'll master the armor techniques perfectly! Well, not yours! We had to chuckle fuck once in search of the famous cola! Chocola Reserve. Oh shit, I said it wrong again, didn't I? No, I think that was right. Right. I guess that's the name now, isn't it? I'll have to tell that to the proprietor. Officially changed his name. My nuts are still swollen. He'll get over it. We have two extra coins, though. <laughs> yeah, now these hammer techniques, we explore more. 